uh, obviously on a draw. Nick Bockwinkle uh, retained his his uh, world heavyweight title, but Jerry Lawler uh, fired away at him. There wasn't any question about it. And Bockwinkle did the same thing in return. He fired it back. I want to bring out the guy that was the uh, challenger in that particular instance. And we're talking about the king, Jerry Lawler, who did indeed make a valiant effort to take the title away from Nick Bockwinkle. But first of all, let me say I'm glad to see your back, well, especially you, after Jerry. seeing your front. Oh. Let me ask yeah. you one other thing. Did you hear that the court just made a ruling that they're going to have to make the Lone Ranger take his mask off? If they ever see you, they're going to make a ruling where you have to wear a mask. You realize that? Oh, uh, you're in rare form today. I hear it. That's right, baby. Okay. When I beat the world heavyweight champion, I am in rare form. And I guess you saw it right there, didn't you? Well, I saw what could be interpreted, I'm certainly by you, as a win over the champion. He still could has the Could be interpreted. It was a one, two, belt. three. That's right. It took me a couple of minutes longer than I anticipated. But what, what can you expect? I was fighting two world champions that night. Not only Nick Bockwinkle, the world heavyweight wrestling champion, but Tommy Marlin, the world heavyweight cheating referee. That was two against one, and I'm telling this to everybody that was at the Mid-South Coliseum in your heart, you know I'm right, baby. That guy cheated me out of the world heavyweight championship. Let me tell you why, Lance Russell. You know why? You know who Tommy Marlin is? You know he don't referee around here all the time. You know why? Well, let me tell you why, because his brother is Eddie Marlin. Now, do you know who Eddie Marlin is? Eddie Marlin is Jerry Jarrett's father-in-law. Now, this all seems to be a little convenient family affair, doesn't it? Jerry Jarrett puts Tommy Marlin in there because he don't want me to be the world heavyweight champion. I realize that. Jerry Jarrett knows that if I was the world's heavyweight champion, I'd have to leave here, and he could see his little candy castle come crumbling down, baby. He knows without the king around here, he'd go right in the dumper. That's why he put Tommy Marlin in there. That's why I was cheated out of the world's heavyweight championship. But in spite of all of that, I still did what no man on earth has been able to do, and that's beat Nick Bockwinkle. What do you think about that, Banana Nose? Well, when 60 minutes is up, 60 minutes is up, and that is exactly Yeah, and when a man gets man his did. shoulders pinned to the mat, he gets them pinned to the mat. And you saw it just like all of the rest of you idiots out there saw it. I beat Nick Bockwinkle. Now, let me ask you something else. When Dundee wrestled Nick Bockwinkle, he got knocked out. Baby, he got sent down to Dreamland, and Jerry Jarrett was so proud of Bill Dundee, he took the film of that little sawed-off runt out to Arizona, showed it to the president of the AWA, and they granted Bill Dundee a rematch. But do you think that he's called the president of the AWA after I beat Nick Bockwinkle? Do you think he wants to show him that film? Do you think he wants a rematch for me? Oh, no, baby. Just like I said, Jerry Jarrett don't want me to be the world's champion because he can kiss me goodbye, baby. And old money bags Jarrett, tight wide Jarrett, he don't want to see me leave from here. Well, let me tell you something. I'm going to get my rematch with Bockwinkle. I'm going to get it one way or other, and that's a promise, brother. Well, if I hear it, Jerry Jarrett is a promoter. His business is of putting in the matches that the people want to see. And if he can put in another yeah. match with He Nick knows Bockwinkle. they want to see the king. You huh? think anybody would pay to come down and see a sawed-off runt? Bug-eyed Bill Dundee? No, they come to see me, That's baby. Let me tell you something about Bill Dundee. I want to no, say a few words no, about no, Bill Dundee. Wait, you wait a minute. I You're don't have to talking. wait for nothing. Bill Dundee, I got a tape from him that had a few things to say about Jerry Before Law. Before you show that tape, let me tell you something. Bill Dundee, the little sawed-off runt, he's got the Southern Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. yeah, now, do you think he'd put that up on the line Monday night? Well, do you think for one minute that Bill Dundee wants to risk that belt against me? No way, baby. I called Jerry Jarrett. I said, put that belt up. Get Dundee to put that belt up. If you close that it Dundee's down, such a, a minute, big coward. He it. knows when he puts that belt up against me, he can kiss it goodbye, you baby. You just keep quiet a minute and take a listen to what Bill Dundee had to say. Be fair about it. Why ain't he here today to say it? Huh? Well, he is not here today. Yeah, but you I know do why? Have a because video. I am here. Okay. That's why he. Let's ain't roll here. the tape in there and take a listen to what Bill Dundee had to say. Jerry